Hello everybody, TikTok here. Today I'm bringing you a video on uh, EVGA's thermal pad upgrade. Here I got a EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 for the win edition that we're going to be doing uh, the thermal pad upgrade on. This is what was sent over. It's nice colored instructions from EVGA. There is one thing I do want to say. Um, I've had this card before the VMR issue was ever known uh, publicly, and I didn't have any issues with my card before all this came out, but I'm doing it just as a precaution, even though I didn't have any any type of issues, and I've already done the BIOS update to it. Uh, the other thing that was sent over was the thermal pads themselves and after I got the email it took about three weeks to actually get the stuff in the mail once I had replied back to them saying that uh, I did want it so it looks like we got uh, two thermal pads on here and then another looks like uh, three smaller ones and a thing of thermal compound so let's go ahead and get started on taking this apart. Take these four screws out. I have a little hole here that I keep the screws in so I don't wind up losing them because they are very tiny screws. Now that I got these four screws out, I should be able to separate the PCB from the heat sinks. But I also want to be careful because I know there is two uh, headers on here. I think one's for the fan. I'm not sure which is which. And then the second one, which is right here, is for the LEDs. So let's go ahead and pry this apart. It looks like we have one more screw holding the PCB down, which is right here. We're going to have to take out. It looks like it's got a not underneath it too. We'll go ahead and take that one out. Yep, coming loose now. Now like I said, we're gonna have to go ahead and disconnect these wires here. So we'll take this. We got that one out. And we're going to have to do the same for this one here. And they are definitely tight, but there we go. Now we got the heat sinks apart from the PCB. You can see the thermal paste there and the one there that we're going to have to clean off from the actual... GPU processor itself, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a while so I'm not getting it all over the place while I'm taking the back plate off. So I do use coffee folders just for the fact that they're lint free, some isopropyl alcohol. Alright, got that cleaned up. Go ahead and clean the processor off. All right, now that we got everything nice and cleaned up, the processor got the heat sink nice and cleaned off. I did go ahead and uh, blow this out. There really wasn't any dust in there, but I thought if I had it open, I'd go ahead and uh, use some canned air and blow whatever dust that was in there out. One thing I do want to mention and be careful and don't do what I did. You have your BIOS switch right here, and I went and broke that little tab off. Now I have no way of switching between uh, the slave and master BIOS. So be very careful if you're 
doing any of the for the win additions that have the switch there that you don't do what I did and break it off. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take off the back plate so we can put some new thermal pads back there. Actually that one right there doesn't look like it has to come out. Just the ones that have uh, the silver around them need to come out. see there's some heads there we're going to want to go ahead and keep those on all right now the last thing we need to get off to put some of the these uh three small thermal pads we need to get underneath this and it looks like there's four screws holding that plate on yeah one, two, three, and then your fourth one's down here. So let's go ahead and take those out. Yeah, it looks like all of them now, this plate should come off. And what do you know? It does. There we go. All right. Now that we have this off, according to the instructions, we need to take these eight pads off and clean up the area, and then we're gonna use these to replace what's making contact at these eight different points here. So, let's go ahead. All right, all those off. Now, Get the old coffee filter back out. Another one. And uh, go ahead and clean this mess up. There you go, you can see. So let's go ahead and apply the new thermal pads. Now that we got those three on, we can go ahead and put this plate back on top. in put the new thermal pads in between in between there and then the next one we're putting along the chokes or the VMRs themselves here. Alright now that we got that all back together what we're gonna go ahead and do is take some thermal tape and put it over these uh, BRMs or chokes. Not sure exactly what you want to call them but let's go ahead and get our piece of thermal tape off of here. And cover that up. And I just want to check it for length to make sure it looks like it's cut just right. sticking out over the sides good deal all right now that we got the pad placed on there the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and put our CPU or yeah GPU cooler back on and uh, 
First thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and put some thermal paste on there. I'm using the Arctic MX4. Love this brand. Been using it for years. Works awesome. Anyhow, go ahead and put ourselves a generous amount on there. And let's go ahead and put the coolers and fan back on. Now don't forget to plug in your two plugs here. Alrighty, now let's flip it over. Now remember, we stick the screws to hold on the heat sinks and the fans and such. It was the four screws with the spring. So those are the ones we're going to use to reattach. All right, got those four back in. Now we got everything back together as far as the board connected to the heat sinks. And the last thing we're gonna wanna do is put the thermal pad on the back plate. Okay, and there is one more screw before we do anything that I did forget, the one with the nut. That goes back here. There we go. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is place this last thermal pad here on the back of the card. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put this last big thermal tape between these sets of screws here, which will line up with the VMRs to dissipate the heat. Put that all on there now. Go ahead and take off this part of the backing. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and screw the back plate back on. Okay, I do see a mistake I made. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, change. I put this one out there and it does not belong there. It belongs over there. So I apologize for that. All right, there we go, nice and tight. Now let's go ahead and put the back plate back on. Alright guys, there you go, I got the back plate on and got everything back together. That is how you go ahead and put the thermal upgrade kit on the EVGA 1070 for the win edition. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or uh, actually if you have any questions just leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And have yourself a good day.